Alright guys, welcome to another episode of Hogwarts Legacy and today I'm basically just going to be pretty much learning new spells and stuff. Here! Behind you! There is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Yep. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> I'm about to. <laughs> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of Charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work. But I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer yeah. months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing Obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? No. Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. All right, so let's do this. Booyah, Accio. Accio. Or it's known as Accio. I'm a dummy. I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree, hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> Where'd you get all the wood from? <laughs> So why don't we have our newest students start us off, hmm? Huh? 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 Okay, then. So what am I supposed to do? Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Okay. Now, Accio is like Gobstum. Very good. 50 points. Yeah. Turn You'll be time. the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Okay. I am playing blue. No, yeah, I'm blue. Okay. Here we right. go! Oh, he's That is how it's done. Alright. My turn. Yep. Uh, I got thirty. Very good. Yes, got thirty. Don't knock me over. She got fifty. Wow. Oh. All right, I better get a fifty here. I only control. Yeah, I can only control my ball. Okay, here we go. Oops. Oops. Do not okay. think I will start going. <laughs> Okay. Damn it. Well done. Thirty. What's this? I have sixty. Fifty. There we wow. go. So I pretty much lost here, but. Okay. Stop. Dang it. Don't lose your composure. Oh well. Yeah, that's the one. GG. Join the goblins, goblins in the uprising. Goblins, werewolves, where were you? In the Goblin Rebellion uh, of 1752. And by the end of it, the Minister the for Magic <laughs> was Albert Boot. Weird. No, it was. Stupid. 
that all you've got? Yeah. Oh. Levioso! Professor Hackett! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, <laughs> Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. All right, I'm going to make this guy float. Let us begin with the basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This yes. time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak Break opponent. Through yellow shield as with control spells Pruitt. like so levitation, spell, me and Levioso. Earlier. Okay. Levioso. So, now, the basic. Well done. Bam. 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 <laughs> Very good. But the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelists, take your marks. Okay. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Okay. This should be easy. Oops. <laughs> Lucky. Nothing lucky about it. <laughs> You're good. Ow. Wait, I forgot how to block. Protego. Case things. This can't be your first duel. Let's just say I'm a quick learner. Thank. How's the view? Bam, 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 Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> what about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Elf. Ah, no. there yeah. you are. So I think it was an elf. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit during your brief detour near... What was it you said? Some ruins? I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Nothing more, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your mm -hmm. professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Yay. <laughs> Do I have to fly? <laughs> No. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Huh. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. 
A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. <laughs> See them through and then she just report back to me. Says, like, just we will have you casting repair like in nothing. no time. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Thank you for the task. Now I have... This is the right area. I wonder where, where the it? flying page is. Revelio. Where's the page? Oh, there it is. Uh, how do I get it? <laughs> Got it. Oh, there we go. That works. Now, what? Uh, oh yeah. It's supposed to go up there. A flying page must be around here somewhere. Revelio. Found it. I think. Wanna? Oh no, that's a chest. Oh, there it is. Brilliant. Got it. All right, return to Professor Runin. All right. Let's see what this girl Wait, over here is. Kind soul, help me. What's up? Are you all right? Don't you know who I am? Zenobia no. Oak, the girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. Why does everyone, everyone hate you? Everyone hates you. Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports. Leander Pruitt's one of the worst. That no talent moon mind. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. Uh. Okay. <laughs> gobstones? Sounds like a fun challenge. That's what I tried to tell everyone. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. Mm. Rather an overreaction on their part. I'll say. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year to help me. That's me. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. <laughs> You're welcome. All right. I trust the preliminary tasks weren't. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us mm -hmm. give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, <laughs> squeak voice, your bro. <laughs> wand is a conduit of your magic. Ta-da! Easy. Now I can repair stuff. <laughs> That's it. Cool. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Repair. Perhaps it. Perhaps if another thought it too accurate and flashed out. Ta da quest complete What's this? Is this the Oh 
I just found a freaking guided page. Cool. All right, Natty. Hello. Looking for me? Yes. Natty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much, but it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. Me neither. Oh, wait, over here. I often spot lacewing flies in this area. Oh? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at. But if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. Revelio. Yeah. <laughs> Weird. I don't know what it is for, but whatever. Look! From the Forbidden Forest. Hippogriffs. I wonder if something starts with them. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. Mr. Moon! He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Huh? Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss on I. Uh, turn and run. Why? Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Huh? Jemmy, guys, ugly and airy and mm, terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Poor That's Mr. Weird. Moon, a demi guys. I think he had too much fun in the village. I will say that I have never seen him in such a state. What's this? Really there. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. I am happy to explore whenever you want. Rumors don't know what they are about goblins and such. It might be nice to have a friend with you. Moonstone. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. Hogspeed. And here we are. It is hard to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Duke's. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. Yay. Yes. An inquiring mind. Hello. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda's student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here, Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Okay. I have no money whatsoever, so... If you're Ching. interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my infantry. Thank you. All right. Next stop... Uh... Potions. <laughs> Look at my friggin' Welcome to Jim Pippin's potions. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> 
Uh, you'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Mm -hmm. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. But for now, cool. let's get you those recipes, shall we? Yes. I wouldn't what can I do for much. you today? Uh, there's the fireflies, skull. Basically, he sells ingredients too. And he actually sells the actual potions too. Wait, is there a Polyjuice potion in here? Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Or come back another time if you're in a rush today. Yeah, I'm in a rush. I want to be able to get all this stuff done before the day ends today. Well, hello there. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's yes. beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Let me guess. You're after something fresh. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Bye. Okay. Last but not least... The wands. Wand. Merlin. Blooming beard. Not again. I'll be right <laughs> with... Ah, it's Hello. you. Um, just a moment, please. Yeah. Cool. No biggie. Uh, mm. Hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand. Yes. It's about time. Yes. Uh, about time? Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? Mm. Yes. Uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes. Yes. Hmm. Powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Hmm. You might do. Here, give this one a try. Hmm. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm. How <laughs> odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh, dear. Uh. <laughs> well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? Nope. <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> we'll find you something, not to worry. Hmm. No, not you, uh, <laughs> I like they're doing Perhaps. the jokes part, like in the movie, yes. in, uh, when Harry was getting his wand. The rare wood, That's thirteen funny. and three quarter inches, awesome. dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Oh, this one looks weird. Oh, 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 oh goodness! <laughs> <laughs> looks like it's back to the shelf for you. <sighs> This is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Uh, what? Whoa, what the? It's a stick! Wait, do I get to customize it? Oh! 
No way. Extraordinary. Oh. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Thank you. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Natty. Yes, sir. I better go find Natty. What's this? Hey, gloves. I'm ready to explore. Ah. I have everything. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favorite shop. <laughs> we should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. What's that? Whoa. Oh, there's more than one. Oh, that's ain't good. Dodge. Woo. Ow. Yeah. Oh, I have to. I have to dodge. I'm a dummy. Troll with pun with the punches. Goodness, a second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Okay. Well, looks like this repairing spell is going to go to good use. Repair. Unless the 
thing for Officer Singer to worry about. Ta da! Sto shopkeeper! Hello. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, Augustus Hill, Clothier Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin. But I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And, as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Oh, clothes. Oh, it's gear. It's neat. What an extraordinary introduction to Hogsmeade. I would say that we, and you in particular, have earned at least one butterbeer. Shall we head to the Three Broomsticks? Sounds like a good idea. Wonderful. Just down this way, then. Assuming it is not too busy, you might even meet Serona, the owner. She is a charming hostess and a powerful witch. Good one to know. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Vanrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. Yeah, please. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Butterbeer. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one, single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thank you. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say, trolls in Hogsmeade, that's never happened before. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... Uh, uh, time uh, oh. <laughs> Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? Your clientele's not what it used to be, Sarona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only one yeah. good word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. Uh-huh. Get out of here, Buster. My friend is busy. Yes. One would Get think you had here. enough bloodshed for one day. Come, Theophilus. The Three Broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Ooh. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Oh boy. Great. Trolls, Ranrock, and Rookwood. What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. Uh -huh. I think that now might be a good time to head back to the castle. 
All right. Well, I'm going to end this here. So, if you guys have enjoyed, hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.